when will Amma come? It's been three days since Amma left. When will she return? Don't worry, she'll huh? come soon. Till then, huh? enjoy your favorite <laughs> pakoras. <laughs> oh, these pakoras are tasteless. Amma huh? doesn't make them like this. Uh. And not only that, Amma also tells us stories after we are finished eating. Um, uh, but how do I call your Amma right now? <laughs> Don't huh? worry, huh? children. Huh? Amma! Wait, 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 wait. Huh? Everyone sit down. Chiru, sit there. Okay. Babu, go and sit on the chair. But you yourself said that this chair is weak. No excuses. You want to listen to the story, right? Go and sit on the chair. Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> Babu, are you hurt? No, no, I am all right. <laughs> Ma? Mommy, you? Babu, I hope you are not hurt. You let me down. Yes. Huh? That is why I always say that you should never ever trust anyone blindly. <laughs> this is for all of you. It's good that you came, or else they would have made me do Bharat Natyam, especially to recite a story. Now that I have heard their demand for its story time with Sudha Amma so many times, that even I am curious to see how you tell them these stories. <laughs> I've already got the subject of the story from Nuni. Amma, please tell the story now. But Amma has just returned from a trip. I think she should rest for some time. We will definitely listen to her story tonight. Yes, of course. Why not? Yay! <laughs> Shall we begin the story, children? Yes! It's story time with Sama! Yay! A donkey and the stick. In Vijayanagar, there was a pond near the main road where every traveller used to stop and take rest. <laughs> My stone will bounce the most number of times in the water and go the farthest too. Yes, it will, but not as far as my stone. Yay! <laughs> What kind of rock is this? Huh? There is something written on it. Children! What are you doing near the pond? Huh? Go back to your home. Uncle, we are not fooling around. We are actually trying to understand what this image huh? imprinted on the rock yes. means. Image? Huh? Get back! Huh? Get back! Huh? 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 Uh, it looks like a huh? donkey to me. A stick and a broken pot. I don't understand what this could mean. This is a donkey and this is a stick. I need to rethink this with a different perspective. Huh? 
What is this? Hmm. Hmm. Yes, I should ask the sage in the ashram. Guruji has gone on a pilgrimage. What? Guruji is not there. So let us ask the disciple then. Can you come with us, Mr. Vedpal? We are in need of help. This is a good opportunity to get my work done from the villagers. But the entire work of the ashram is still pending. Who will do it? It's okay. We'll finish your work. Yes, you are huh? right. Let us finish his work quickly. <laughs> In the absence of Guruji, the villagers called the disciple Vedpal to solve the mystery of the painting on the rock. Huh? Huh? Uh -uh. Vedpal, who believed himself to be very clever, started to explain the significance of the drawing on that rock to the innocent villagers who were oblivious. This is very difficult to understand. But not for me. Do you see this stick? This is not an ordinary stick, but it's a magical stick. And this man... Man? man? Where do you see a man? The one who is holding the stick. Well, but sir, are you sure about it? Because it doesn't look like someone is holding the stick. Well... If you are so intelligent, then why don't you figure it out yourself? I am leaving. Wait, wait, wait. wait. You, you are, are the most knowledgeable, knowledgeable person here. Please, Please tell, tell us. us. Okay, let me tell you. This person who is holding the magical stick in his hand is not an ordinary man, but the great hero of Vijayanagar himself, who sacrificed his life while protecting Vijayanagar years ago. I can foresee that if any traveller passing by here does not stop here and pray to him, then they will face tremendous loss just like that broken pot and they will turn into donkeys. We all know that stones don't speak for themselves. So people immediately believed Vedpal's words. <laughs> The people of the village made Vedpal the priest of that stone, where he used to chant the wrong mantras to fool people. Bathe the stone with milk. Yes, yes, I'm doing it. <laughs> Leave it now and give me this. Uh, uh, okay. Oh. <laughs> this continued until the Guruji of the ashram returned from the pilgrimage after a few months. Oh. <laughs> my dear animals, how did the condition of my ashram become like this? Where is Vedpal? Vedpal! Why are they pointing there? And what kind of crowd is there? Huh? What's this? Guruji! <laughs> what are you doing? Someone stop him! We will not let this happen! We will not allow our place of worship to be destroyed! Is that so? No! What? It's shining. Huh? What's this? What is this? Treasure? The drawing on the stone huh? indicated that we would get the treasure if we broke the stone with an iron rod. And anyone who did not do so would be a donkey. <laughs> but, but we will do that. that. If you continue to blindly trust anyone's words without 
utilizing your mind, you will remain a fool like this. Huh? Uh, forgive me, Guruji. Hmm. Hmm. This treasure belongs to this village. Therefore, it will be used to repair this road so that travelers going to the town do not face any inconvenience. As you suggest, Guruji. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> wow! After listening to such a good story, we feel refreshed after three days, Amma. I also understood, Amma. Mm -hmm. Nuni had made me believe that she was Amma, and if only I had not believed her blindly, then I would have never fallen off the chair. <laughs> right? Yeah, absolutely right. <laughs> Smelling so good. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Amma, how long will it take to prepare the paisam? Just a few minutes, children. Okay, Amma. Chiru, catch! Uh, uh? Honeybees. Hmm. Now see the magic of these campers. Yay! The honeybees, the honeybees are on. on. That's okay. But tell me one thing. Who invited the honeybees here? Hmm. That's him. <laughs> wow! What an aroma! It looks like the honeybees came here to taste this delicious paisa. Why would the honeybees come here due to the smell of the paisa? Why? If a bear can come smelling the paisa, why can't honeybees? Am I right, Amma? Remember that story? Oh, which story was that, Amma? Okay, so you are acting smart with me. If you want to listen to the story, just tell me. Yay! Yay! It's, it's story time with Amma. Paisam for a bear. The sweetest bananas and juiciest mangoes in the village came from Mohan's garden. The harvest has been very good this spring, Basanti. This time, we can get a huge profit by selling them in the big market of Vijayanagar. What a delightful smell. Give me two dozen. Uh, give me one dozen. Give me one dozen, dozen banana. Give me one kg. Give me two kg. Someone bought one kg of mangoes. Someone bought two. And some bought bananas. And then there was such an aroma that even Mohan could not stop himself. It's mine! What's in it, brother? Buy some. So, is it eatable? Can you give me a little? Huh, if I give it to you, then what would I eat? In return for six bananas and mangoes, Mohan took the paisam from the man. Do you have more? If you want more, why don't you cook it at home? What's the recipe? Huh? Oh. Huh? After taking a lot of mangoes and bananas from Mohan, the man shared the recipe for paisan. 
बसंती हाँ? बसंती ओ बसंती वाई आर यू सो हैपी इट लुक्स लाइक यू हैव मेड अ वेरी गुड प्रॉफिट फॉर गेट द प्रॉफिट टूडे आई हैव सेवर्ड समथिंग दैट हैज लिफ्टेड माई स्पिरिट्स मेड माई हार्ट हैप्पी एंड माई सोल ट्रूली सेटिस्फाइड वेट लेट मी शो यू हेयर आई पुट द शुगर a little ghee ha huh? and some dry fruits and the paisam is ready but the pot is empty but my mind is not empty basanti i have brought all the ingredients to prepare the paisam just take these and start preparing <laughs> but we don't have any wood i'll bring it quickly Mr. Bear, because today is my turn to eat. Will you eat me? No, 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 Mr. Bear. I was talking about the bison. This is entirely my fault. If I had not thought about eating bison and not come to the jungle to gather wood, I wouldn't have slept. The wood wouldn't have fallen on you. It seems like my dream of having bison will remain just a dream. <laughs> bison? What's this bison? Bison? The taste of bison? Ah! <laughs> wow! 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 The aroma of bison? Wow! Mwah! If you haven't eaten bison yet, then you haven't eaten anything good. <laughs> And it turned out the talking bear was also fond of eating. I also want to eat bison. Will you feed me too? But I'll need some more wood for that. You only concentrate on the paisam. Hundred, five hundred logs. I'll bring you as much wood as you want. Okay, okay, okay. Five hundred logs would be enough. I can use them for the entire month. So I will. Ah, 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 ah. What a bear! People invite their friends and relatives, and you invited a bear. Oh no, poor Basanti. What could she do? She started making paisam for the guest. Paisam was ready. Now they were waiting for the guest. I can smell the aroma from here, and I can't resist. What say, Basanti? Should we taste a little bit? Uh, why not? But only a little bit. As soon as the lid was lifted, the aroma of the paisam spread, wow. and it became difficult for both of them to wait. Uh. Uh. They began tasting with a spoon, then moved on to a bowl, and then to a plate. And eventually, they couldn't resist and started eating directly from the pies and pot. <laughs> Oh no! We ate all the paisam. What should we do now? Ah. Wondering how the bear would ever know the taste of paisam, they decided to mix the leftover rice with adulterated milk. Whatever it turned out to be, it was now ready. Both of them thought uh. that if they wouldn't be home, how could it possibly matter whether the bear liked it or not? Uh. Uh. 
Bison. Driven by the temptation of Bison, the poor bear arrived hungry and immediately began to eat. Huh? But how much could he possibly relish the Bison? Made with the adulterated milk and a few grains of rice and without any dry fruits. Where will you escape? I will not leave you. <laughs> After all the praise for Bison, what have you fed me? The day I'll find you, I'll teach you a lesson. Uh, oh, oh no, no our house! No, no, it's not Mr. Bear. Huh? It's our own Goofy. Yes. <laughs> So what did you learn from the story? Amma, one should not break one's promise like Mohan. Even if we haven't made a promise. But we will definitely feed Mr. Bear some paisam. We will leave the paisam out for Mr. Bear. Even if Mr. Bear doesn't come, the honeybees will surely come to enjoy the paisam. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go children. Let's yes, go. Yay! 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 <laughs> If you like this video, subscribe to our channel, Murti Media.